State Board voted to allow TPS to keep its accreditation status with deficiencies. Now, before the Oklahoma State Board of Education took that vote, Tulsa Public School Board members of education made their case to the board on why they should keep their accreditation status. They also answered questions from the state board, along with questions from Superintendent Ryan Walters. Now, earlier today, dozens of people lining up, hoping to get inside that meeting room, a lot of them wearing signs and shirt, showing their positions on Walters and TPS and accreditation status. Now, I talked to several people today before the vote who say TPS should lose accreditation because of the failing schools and those who say losing TPS is accreditation. I mean, what does that do for the kids? I don't think anything as big as Tulsa schools should lose their accreditation. But if that's the chain that he has to pull, the real you in, then do his job. If you can tell me how getting a new superintendent and or pulling the accreditation is going to improve the outcome for these students, there's probably 50,000 students in that district. Like, what, what are we going to do to improve the educational outcome? Before the board voted to keep TPS's accreditation status, though, they did approve two propositions. The first, uh, requiring any foreign dollar used directly or indirectly to be reported to the state and asked state legislators to look into that as well. They also approved asking districts to report their pronoun policies so the State Board of Education de can decide if they are appropriate. appropriate. But again, the biggest story uh, today out of the State Board of Education meeting is the board allowing Tulsa Public Schools to keep their accreditation status with deficiency, so that means there will not be a state takeover. However, with deficiencies, though, uh, that means that there will be certain stipulations that address reading the district's failing schools and also ways to prevent embezzlement. Now, right after the board voted, I did speak to Mayor G.T. Bynum, and I will have his reaction in the next half hour. Our 2 News Oklahoma anchor Aaron Christie is still inside of the meeting, and she will have more from us as well throughout the day. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Shay Smith, 2 News Oklahoma.